Hey, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in again. I noticed uh, when I uploaded the shop video last night that I'm over 100 subscribers. Can't believe 100 people find this interesting enough to want to see me work on this bus or not work on this bus on a regular basis. I promise this channel is not just about building and moving shops, although I seem to do a lot of that. Tonight, I'm going to actually work on a project on the bus. So with that being said, I'd like to give a shout out to my neighbor and friend, Aaron. Aaron's a pretty cool kid who loves schoolies and watching schoolie builds on YouTube. So shout out to you, Aaron, and hope you enjoy a video of me actually doing something to the bus for a change. This is a project I started about six months ago, um, undercoating using a rubberized undercoating on the bus. So I'm going to dig up that old footage and play that now, and then we'll come back to present day and uh, we'll get going uh, underneath there. Uh, it's Monday night, I've only got a couple of hours, which is why I am not going to be doing any shop stuff. Hello, it's a beautiful Tuesday afternoon here in Iowa. Eight degrees outside, kind of windy, so I'm not gonna shoot very much video today um, because it is so windy. But uh, I got the bus at home here and I'm working on the undercoating. So I'll kind of show you a quick what I'm doing. Okay, so the first thing I did is I got my grandfather's old air compressor out and uh, put a new hose on it and some new fittings with a new air gun. And I'm blasting any residual dirt, dust from underneath it. As you may have recall, I pressure washed and degreased the entire underside of this bus last fall. And then this is the undercoating I'm using, just a 3M aerosol and we crawl underneath the bus. The lighting is really bad, but you can kind of see where I've been and where I haven't been. It just sprays on like a very thick spray paint. It'll probably take uh, two coats to do most areas. Uh, I'm gonna hit it a little bit thicker in the back behind the rear tires where road salt would be thrown up. And the reason we're doing this, and we'll compare this to an area I haven't gotten to yet. The reason we're doing this is to prevent this crystal clean Arizona bus from rusting out. I realized that I got this little section done here with one can. I ordered five cans total, uh, and it's probably gonna take like a hundred, so I definitely need to order more of that, and that's gonna be quite pricey, but I do not want this bus to rust. So, well worth the effort. First things first, I need to move and clear some of this junk so I can actually get underneath the bus. All right, welcome to underneath the bus. It's kind of dark under here. I had to ditch the goggles. They were fogging over. Couldn't see what I was doing, but I still at least do have gloves on. The respirator said, well, I can't see anything. Um, so good thing I'm only going to be working on this for a short period of time, and hopefully I don't inhale too much of the toxic stuff. What I'm basically going to do is crawl around under here. I've got a giant LED floodlight. That's now washing out the camera. <laughs> that I set on my chest as I roll around, but that does give me the ability to see what I'm doing. So for right now, what I'm mostly doing is just going back over the spots I did last spring and touching up any spots that I missed or I didn't get thick enough and has worn off. So... But the way we do this is I just try to stay out from being directly underneath it. And then just several short bursts. It does work better if you try to keep the can upright. It's tempting to tilt it 90 degrees, but it doesn't work as well. But it's ours to try to avoid hoses. Mm. 
wires, the fans on my air conditioners, anything non-metal. Gonna be a long process, but it'll be worth it. Okay, so that's about enough fun and games for tonight. Uh, I've got things I gotta go do. So I did about eight or nine cans under there. Uh, I ordered 30 cans this last batch on top of, I think, the original six I had bought. Um, did eight or nine cans tonight. I got kind of second covering over the area I'd done before, which is basically a bumper to the fuel tank. I got all around the fuel tank and most of the undercarriage pretty much up to the wheel wells uh, done tonight. So definitely going to probably need another maybe 30 cans i'm guessing i'll be close to 100 cans by the time it's all said and done so i probably won't record too much more uh, on this particular topic because at this point it's just very messy and dirty and repetitive um, but at some point i may give you a final can update for anybody uh, thinking about doing this in the future and maybe a year from now or so i'll kind of give an update on how well it's held up or something so anyway i've got uh, things i gotta go do tonight so we're going to pack it up out of here and uh, we'll catch you later thanks for watching